Hey guys, what's up? It's I Can Fly Jake, and today we are going to be discussing modding and its relation to Daisy standalone. Now, just a couple days ago, the Daisy dev team decided, sort of out of thin air, um, that they decided that was the day for them to publish some new information um, talking about the modding component of Daisy. Now, this was a complete surprise. No one, they never said they were even going to talk about it anytime soon. Um, so, to me, it's just interesting, and I think it's worth talking about because. Honestly, modding is something that might save the game for many of the people that don't support the direction that Daisy developers are currently going with the game, and more on that later. So basically, they say first that a fair number of you have been asking about Daisy modding, and the more adventurous even found Bulldozer, which is apparently a sub-program of the game, um, which is what allowed some people to make a community offline mode, um, and that's where you've seen some people be able to spawn in vehicles, spawn in the generators and electricity and stuff, and basically that's where the initial uh, Daisy offline mode came from, is some people were able to kind of get into the game and find that. So some people found that, and honestly, they've spawned some stuff like the vehicles, which actually were working pretty well, um, even though de the developers have said there's so much more work to be done on them. Uh, they've actually found that they're fairly functional. Not the point, though. The point is that they're ready to talk to us a little bit about modding. So they start off by saying, at the moment, modding is projected to be a PC-exclusive feature, which will be integrated via the Steam Workshop. It will work in a pretty similar way to how it does with Arma 3, and as for when modding will be available, they aim for a partial release together with beta, but that's not set in stone. So that's really cool because, I mean, honestly, guys, I think the sooner they can get out any sort of modding features, the better. Um, and I don't know, I just think that there's so many people that don't like the direction, some of the choices the Daisy dev team has made. So, for example, let's say you're not in support of the sprint meter, and if you think that, like, you know, everybody else hates the sprint meter too, which I don't think everybody does, in fact, I think the majority, if they're being realistic about it, actually likes it, but it doesn't matter if you don't like it. Um, the point is that with modding, it easily can be disabled, um, or at least just set to be infinite, or they could set it to where you can sprint longer or shorter, whatever it may be. Um, it can be tweaked with the modding, and as far as we know, I mean, Daisy came from a mod and ended up, you know, being even, even more popular than the game it came from. You know, Daisy has grown to be bigger than Arma 2 was, um, especially when it was in its prime with the mod. So if turns out, you know, everybody supports way more gun spawning, you know, no sprint meter, uh, way easier to, you know, you don't have to eat as much food. If everybody thinks that's better, then that mod will be, you know, the the version of Daisy that everybody plays. So whatever's popular is what people will play, and if it's liked by the majority, it doesn't matter that it's a mod, especially when the people creating Daisy, you know, whether whether you agree or not with the direction the dev team is going, you have to respect that they're very, you know, they're very frontal about the fact that they want this mod to, the modding program to work very well and be, you know, they want to hand it off to the modders to make this Daisy mods great. Um, and of course, yes, they do it because it will make them more sales and because it makes the game better overall, but at least they're not going, you know, and trying to do everything themselves. They want modders to get their hands on it and they respect that Daisy came from a mod. And I think that's really cool. And I'm really excited for, you know, you modders out there to get your hands on it and make us some good mods because as a content creator and somebody that's played Daisy for so long, I'm personally tired of just playing on Trenaris with the same old knowing exactly where I need to go to get loot, knowing exactly where the inside of a building looks like. I want some people to be creating custom maps. I want to play on new new loot zones. I want to play with fun new features. Um, and that doesn't mean I disagree with how the Daisy Dev team is doing things. There's just it's just having mods in the game creates a sort of freshness. And that's what that's how GTA, you know, Grand Theft Auto games stay alive for so long, is the kind of freshness that gets integrated into them. I mean GTA 4 has some of the funniest mods and videos I've ever seen. Um, and I never even owned that game. So honestly, guys, I think a lot of people are gonna be looking forward to these mods. As to the title says, will it save the game? Um, I think if the modding system is as good as the dev team says it is, and if there are any modders out there that will even create a few popular ones, I, I think it's as simple as a yes, because if the desire, everybody's saying, you know, the mod was so much better for Daisy, you know, every, anyone who wants to play Daisy, the mod for Armor 3 is still so much better than Daisy standalone will ever be. Um, if that's the case, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong, but those modders can make those Armor 3 style Daisies with the new Daisy engine and make them really, really good and run, you know, better than they ever have on other engines. So it's as simple as if those are actually better, it will save the game because people will want to play it um, just like they used to. You know, they can say, you know, people that aren't the dev, dev team will get credit for it. It will be the modders getting credit. And I think that's really cool. And I really think it will save, I think modding will save the game. Um, 
specifically for the people who don't like the direction of the dev team. I keep saying that because if you look at the subreddit, there's really a divide among people that support the direction of the game and a bunch of people who think the dev team was going to drive this game into the ground. And even if they drive the main unmodded game into the ground, um, at least we'll have the mods to be able to come back and work with this great new engine and the great performance. I think that's key too because no matter how good you think the old mods were, you must respect that they never they never ran well on systems. And this new DayZ engine, um, or the Infusion engine, I believe, is running great like i mean the xbox one is running it fantastic my computer um has, you know it's never run daisy better it looks great uh, so i'm really really excited and i honestly if you guys don't know i've played daisy standalone since day one of its release but i didn't actually play the mod so i'm very excited to kind of see what kind of variety we get in the world of it they post a few images here first of the central economy tool just showing some of the built-in edits you can do to the world um, along with the central economy, which basically, if you guys didn't know, is a system that manages the respawning of loot, the quality and quantity of loot, um, and whereabouts that happens. Also, there's another picture here with the script editor, script editor, um, the workbench. I thought I might as well mention it. Did they say from the technological point of view? At its core, Daisy is a hybrid between the real virtuality and Infusion Engine. Um, so basically they're saying that those who played in modded armor 3 will recognize most of the tools so i don't know they even say that they've been adjusted and optimized to support day z um so basically they're trying to say it'll be an easy transition for those who modded for armor 3 to kind of transition to modding for this game and i hope a lot of those people are willing to hop on it and i think they will be because if anything the, the hype around armor 3 is definitely down um and so if these modders might want you know get some more hype daisy's definitely a tunnel to get that hype rolling again they finish off by saying that the, this is a powerful all-in-one tool developed to handle modifications related to the new Infusion Engine game core, such as scripting, particles editing, UI editing, and others. In addition to these, the tools will contain a few more DAISY specifics like the nav mesh generator and the editor for the central economy, like I mentioned earlier. Um, because DAISY's central economy, I think the system they've created is really, really cool. Um, if you guys remember back in the day when DAISY first released into standalone, the items respawning was all based around server restarts. So if you knew a server restarted every two hours, you know, people would be hopping on the server and they'd be like, all right, as soon as the server restarts, we got to spam to get back into this. We got to rush to the northeast airfield, take all the M4s. We got to rush to the school in Berezino, take all the M4s there, grab the Mosins, grab the ammo. Whatever. And then for the next two hours, you know, there was no new loot. You only got loot from killing people or going to really unusual places. And while it did create a sort of fun, I think that fun has been popularized in the Battle Royale. And that's just a better way to get that sort of experience. Not that the modders can't create this again. It's just that I think that Daisy's not the best place for that to happen. In fact, with the most recent 0.63 stress test, the developers have temporarily swapped it back over to loot respawning based on server restarts, literally just to test how it affects the server performance. They're trying to nail down a bug. Not the point, though. All I was saying is that I've been playing quite a few hours with this sort of loot respawning, and man, does it suck. It's really awful. It, it gets rid of all skill involved with knowing where loot should be. It gets rid of, you know, loot runs and knowing your map knowledge. It just it just kind of screws with the whole game, and having a really strong central economy um, is awesome in the way that items can respawn over time you know they won't just pop up in front of your face they know where characters are they know the right balance of them and even if it's even if these can be tweaked it doesn't mean that the modders can't create their own balances it's just that 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 central economy um, core that's been created by the development team works very well and i think will be awesome for the modders to manage it um, and just create their own you know they can use this on you know custom maps for instance it's been talked about in namalsk is kind of hyped about even the dev team themselves they're they're excited to play this game with mods. Um, I believe whichever developer retired recently, I can't remember his name currently, um, or left the Daisy dev team, he, you know, stuck around until they could get a good scope and view of what the dev team will do in the future. And he, you know, he did his job and he was ready to move back to the United States. But he's a huge Daisy fan. I believe he has over 4,000 hours in the game. And he still to this day is on the subreddit commenting on things, making jokes. I believe it's Hicks, Brian Hicks. Um, and he just he's talks all the time about he's very excited to play some of these community made maps and community made mods and so it just really shows that at the core of the daisy dev team they're not bad people and whether you disagree with them um on things they are also excited to play the mods that will be created and i'm just also excited and i hope a lot of you are too are there any specific ones you guys are excited for are there any modders out there that have any mods planned what kind of tweaks would you made what kind of mods would you make what kind of mods would you request i'm very excited to hear your guys's response in the comments down below if you aren't subscribed make sure to subscribe for more daisy content and also follow me on twitch for live streams i hope to see all of you guys in my next live stream or video thanks for watching